have decided to disobey the Lord's order. He never knew he was fighting more than he can choose. The lie lingered on. I know nobody caught him. And the truth refused to die. my husband. Reverend, I have a letter here with me. As we see in Blow no, on the Order, a new movie from the Monsanto Films Production Nigeria. Blow no, on the Order. The man is lying. I don't know what you're talking about. And the ghost is haunted in Blow no, on the Order. Written to produce and directed by my family. Blow no, on the Order. Heavy matches. Gloria Bamiloye, Elizabeth Oriadoli, Helen Jarrett. Blow no, on the Order. Available from Mozambique Media Connections, 48 Abavanya Wunawa, Ikeja Randabawa, telephone 0805201847, and 16 Elizabeth Road, near Cook Medica, Mokola, Ibada, telephone 0083832367, and 0030831556, and 59 Ring Road, opposite Dickard House, Challenge, Ibada, telephone 0083832367, and 0030831556. Law on the hold, hold. A new movie from Mozilla. The roads are moving as a destructive end. The enemy going against the youth. The youth going against the Lord. Is dangerous, Tayo. Going on destructive highway. Unless there is heavenly intervention. The jury to lost. Another literary movie from Mozilla Films Production, Nigeria. The jury to lost. Written by Pamilola Pamiloye. Produced and directed by Mike Pamiloye. The jury to lost. Joseph Shalom. Gloria Pamiloye. Tayo Lyoto. Daniela Pamiloye. Elvin Jarrett, the poor of Fashola, the youthful lost. Now available at Monsanto Media Connection, 48 of Afonia Wola, where you can get around about. Telephone 0052018467. And 6, Queen Elizabeth Road, near Group Medica, Mokola, Ibadan. Telephone 0038323367. And 0038031556. And 59, Ring Road, opposite Dickard House, Challenge, Ibadan. Telephone 0038323370 0030831556 A beautiful lost a lost for every home.
all over the place that the two strangers that came into the village had suddenly died. I must go and see. Maybe they died in their room or outside where the villagers will see them. <laughs> Thank you. Their dead bodies are not outside. Perhaps they died at the back of the house. How I wish they were down outside so that the villagers can see them. Let me drop closer to the house. Good afternoon. Who is in? I think they died at the back of the house. I don't think they died inside. Huh? I will go and check the backyard. They must have died at the back of the house. I won't enter the house yet. Let me go and check the back of the house. They must have died at the back of the house. Baba. 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 Good Good afternoon. Come and come and have your seat, please. Just bring it here. Baba. Ah. They are even planning to. Yes, they are planning to come and visit tonight. Yeah, come and sit down. Come and sit down. Baba, come and sit down. Sit down. Okotoara, you have deceived me. Okotoara, you have deceived me. Okotoara, your power has deceived me. Hi, Ishawuru. The man who drinks the corn beer with the spirit of the forest. The man who eats with the spirit of the winds. Hi, Ishawuru. Kai kai buruku chin ko wa imu eni. Abba miye jotonto ro mai gitaba. Must your power treat me into shame like this? The power you call powers are fake powers. The power you called powers are fake powers. The power you called strong powers have no powers at all. Pwe! I spit on your powerless power. Baba ah. Shaul. The power that we have is not fake power at all. No. The power of Jesus Christ is the power above all powers. Yes, Baba. It is the power that parted the Red Sea. Mm. It is the power that destroyed the walls of Jericho. Mm. The power of Jesus Christ can raise up the dead. Yes. Can open the hearts of the blind and can heal the deaf and dumb. The power of Jesus Christ is greater, is greater than the powers of the demons mm -hmm. of the forest mm -hmm. and, the, mm -hmm. and the powers in the rivers. Exactly. This power of Jesus Christ is in us. Is in us. Baba Isauru. The power of Jesus Christ is the ultimate power. Yes. I advise you to shut up your mouth for I was not talking to you.
But what sort of strange evil power do these people possess? What a strange power! What a strange power! What a strange power! I sent Oloko Shodudu, the black demon in the happy pot, to go and afflict them. Their power was too strong for him. He ran back to me. Ha! Engineer and his wife had got the power too. Oloko Shodudu could not attack them. No wonder they despised the instruction I gave to them and poured insult on me. And I went into Ibu Adige, the forest of the Emirates, to look for Olori Ebe. I could not find her. And I could not find the council of the Emirates either. Perhaps they have confronted engineer and his wife. And they have been defeated by that strange evil power too. Hatuli Agbatu, my errand demon. I sent him to go and afflict them with smallpox and paralysis. I never saw him again. He didn't get there and he didn't come back to me. And the power like God from the palace of Omobaluweri, that one had no impact at all. But I saw them on the mirror. I shot the gun and I saw their blood spattered on the mirror. I went to their house to go and look at them and I met them hale and healthy, undisturbed, untouched by Pakute Egele, the power of Omobaluweri. But what sort of strange evil power do these people possess? The power is strange, strong and evil. But who is this Jesus that Ola Boyi and Ola Tomi talked about every time? They never get tired mentioning that name, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. My father, Hadimbeno Kualawu, who handed over this work into my hand, never told me that there is any strange power in the hand of any Jesus. But if he knew of that power, he would have looked for that Jesus and got that power from him. For that Jesus must be full of powers. The powers that no other power can contend with. The power destroyed. The power of Ologo Shodudu. The demon of the half pot. It overcame the power of Omobaluweri. And the power destroyed the power of Atulia Albo Maheran demon. And perhaps the power has destroyed the power of Olori Egbe and the Council of Emirates. And Olaboya and Olatomi have great peace in that power. What a strange power. What a terrible power. And Olaboya and Olatomi, they have great confidence in that power. I must contact Arumeta. The three terrible witches. Whether they know the man called Jesus, I must contact Arumeta. I must ask Arumeta if they know the man called Jesus. The black rat that sees in the darkest night 
and the deadly cat whose eyes glitters in the dark. A pepe le letin dari ewe o kolalo. E fufu le letin dari ewe a gwe jia jia. A rometa, you the three terrible witches. I have come to see you. I have come to you to ask you for quite few questions. And you must give me answer. Come across a strange power. Terrible and great. And I was told this power come from one Jesus. And I have come to ask you who this person is. Who is this Jesus they are talking about? This Jesus, is he a demon or a god? Is he a spirit of the forest or of the ocean? Tell me who this Jesus is. Arometa. Tell me the mystery of this Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. E kududu abojurai. Ologi ni jigo la bara mio mio. Show up yourself and tell me. Ologi ni dudu aboju. Hmm. What is this? Who is this man? Why all these cruel lashes? Ha! Ha! Why forcing him to carry this heavy wood again? But this is too much. But who is this man being heavily tortured? What has he done? What was his offense? giving him these cruel lashes without considering the heavy load of wood he bears upon himself. This is too much. Ah, ah. But what sort of torture is this? Ha. Ha. Ah. Ha. Ah. Ah. ah! You are nearly his hand again. But what evil has he done? Ah! Nails driven into the palm of human beings. But what sort of cruel torture is this? What has he done to deserve this cruel torture? But what sort of man is this? Who is this man? Nailed to the wood alive. Who are you? And what evil have you done to deserve this? Who are you? Tell me who you are. I am he. I am he. The son of the living God. Of the living God. I died for you, you on the cross. I suffer the Lord, the Lord you on the cross. I shed my blood for the remission of your sins. I died and I resurrected that you might not perish. All power in heaven and on earth is given unto me. If you believe me and follow me, you shall share the glory of God. Jesus! Ah. <laughs> I never know you are real. I, I never know you are existing. <laughs> if I had known long ago 
if I had known, I would have looked around for you long before now. I would have taken you as my Lord and my Master. <laughs> I never knew. I never knew. I never knew you are real and existing. Jesus, I never knew there is a power greater than all the powers of the whole world. I believe you. Have mercy on me. Jesus, have mercy on me. I believe. I will believe you. I will follow you. And I will serve you. <laughs> But my sins, my sins are so many. My sins are so grievous. The burden of my sins are so heavy. If you forgive me the grievous sins of mine, I will serve you all the days of my life. If you forgive me this numerous sins of mine, is whatever you tell me to do, I will do. My sins. <laughs> my sins are so many. I have killed many in Mualeru. I have made covenant with the emirates and the witches. I have heard with the demons of the forest. I have I have held meetings, countless meetings with demons of the trees. I ate with demons of the forest. I held countless meetings with the demons in the trees. And for three good days, I was under the river in the palace of Obolueri, acquiring power upon powers. Jesus Christ, my sins are so many. If you forgive me, I will serve you with all my heart. I will serve you with all my life. My sins are so many. My sins are so many. If you forgive me, I will serve you with all my heart. I will serve you with all my life. <laughs> uh, I don't know, Jesus, that you are mighty. <laughs> You are powerful. <laughs> I don't know, Jesus, that you are mighty. <laughs> if you save, if you save me, if you forgive me, <laughs> I will serve you with all my life. <laughs> yeah, so great <laughs> your power in heaven and on earth <laughs> you are mighty Jesus you are so great <laughs> no power in the world can face you no power in the world can face you. <laughs> you are mighty. You are so great. You are mighty. You are so great. <laughs> you are so great. <laughs> No power in the world can face you. <laughs> you are so great. Jesus, 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 have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, Jesus. Have mercy on me. What type of strange light is that? 
What I for blinding light is that? Wait a minute. Hey, 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 hey. I cannot see again. <laughs> what type of light is that? What type of blinding light is that? <laughs> Jesus, uh -uh. I know you are powerful. <laughs> Shabby, I have known that you are great. <laughs> ah, my, my height. I can't see again. I can't see again. Ah, Jesus. <laughs> You are mighty, you are wonderful. <laughs> ah, my eyes. Eh? Ah, I can see. I can see. I can see. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> if you forgive me, eh? I will serve you with all my life. Ah. Eh? Even if I'm blind, eh, eh, it's okay. Ah, ah. As long as you forgive me, it's okay. It's okay, just forgive me. My sins are numerous. The, the, the burden of my sins is so heavy. If you forgive me, I will start with all my life. <laughs> no one has power that can face you. No one has any power that can face you. You are wonderful. Oh no, that way. That's the way. He thought you are wonderful. Hey, you are wonderful. Yeah. He was born to I can't see again, no. I don't know that you are mighty. No power in the world can face you. Who is passing by? Whoever is passing by should come and help. I can't see again, no. Oh, wow. I don't Who is passing by? Who is What is that? It is me, Baba. Huh? It is me, Abike. <laughs> Which Abike? Is it Oma Yalasa? Yes, Baba. Ah, go, go, go. Go. I don't know. Ha, Baba, what has happened to you? Uh, uh, I can't see. See, do you know the house of Olaboye and Olatomi? Olaboye's house. Baba, I don't know the place. Ah, uh, oh, you don't know the house of the husband and wife, Olaboye and Olatomi? The husband and wife that came from the city that lives by the mango tree. Yes, Baba, I've known the place. <laughs> the husband and wife, Olatoy, Olaboya and Olatomi that lives by the by the mango tree. Yes, Baba, I've known the place. <laughs> is, it, is it the husband and wife that the house is beside the mango tree? Yes, yes, that lives by the mango tree. Come and take me to their house. Take me to their house. I don't know. Look at this hand. This hand we take. 
don't know Jesus that you are my teacher. I don't know that you are powerful. I don't know that you I don't know that you are powerful. You are my You are powerful. But Baba, hmm? what has happened to you? Ah. Go. So many things to say, my little girl. Have you once heard of Jesus' power? Jesus? Ha! I've never heard of him, Baba. Who is Jesus? I too, I too didn't know about him before. It was Ola Boye and Ola told me that told me about him. I did not know about that Jesus before until I heard it from Ola Boye and Ola told me. <laughs> I have seen him and I have met with him. <laughs> Jesus, is this so powerful? Ah! Jesus, the most powerful one. The one that has the greatest power. The ultimate power. <laughs> no one meets with this Jesus and ever remains the same. <laughs> Jesus Christ, ah, the man that has the power in heaven and on earth. Hmm. No one has any power greater than the power of Jesus Christ. Hmm. The man with the ultimate power. <laughs> no one can see him or meet him and remain the same. Hmm. Jesus. Jesus. Hmm. Jesus. The man that possesses the ultimate power. <laughs> I don't know Jesus. That you are mine. I don't know Jesus that you are so great. Ah, is the house still far? You are near, Baba. Ah, you are powerful. Oh yes, you. Oh, oh, I don't <laughs> My young girl, <laughs> there is no other power that can supersede the power of Jesus Christ. The power of Jesus Christ is the ultimate power beyond which no other power exists anywhere. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Jesus, that you are mine. Ah, is the house still far? We are getting there, Baba. No one in the world can face you. We are getting there, Baba. Ah, this is the house. Good. Oh, thank you very much, my young girl. You can go. I will find my, I will find my way in. Thank you. You are. Oh, okay. Hola, Bode. Yes. Please. I don't know. Ah, Baba. <laughs> come inside. Come inside. Hola, Bode. You are not observant, though. Uh -huh. Can't you see? I have gone blind. 
I can't see again. What? Uh, what do you mean? You've gone blind? Ah. Take me inside. What happened? Uh, You've gone blind? Take me Christ. inside. No other power Jesus. in the world can face you. Jesus Christ. You are my What happened? Key. What happened? This is very strange. I don't know. You let you are not what and how you good. are my key. No, no, no. Yes, sit down. Ah, ah. Remember? Ah, ah. Baba. Eh? You used to stay with us the other time. Now you are back. Is that not a lot to me? Yeah. Baba cannot see again. He has gone blind. What? What happened? Ah, ah. Was it not an how I go that you left us here? Eh. Ola boye. Ola to me. There are a lot to say. And I will say everything. Hmm. What I what I saw this afternoon. I don't think you have ever seen such a <laughs> what is that, Baba? What is it, Baba? Hmm. That man you call Jesus. Hmm. Now I know that he is real and he is alive. Yes. I saw him tortured. I saw. I saw countless number of rashes landing on his back. Mm -hmm. I saw fresh blood dripping from his open wound. I watched in absolute amazement as cruel people nailed his hands and legs to the cross. I saw him battered on the cross. Mm. You mean you saw Jesus? Yes, with my eyes. I saw him. He spoke with me. Hmm? He said he shed his blood for me on the cross for the remission of my sin. And he said he died and he rose again that I might not perish. And he said, he has all the powers in the earth and in heavens. And that if I follow him and believe in him, I shall see the glory of God. <laughs> Baba, you saw Jesus? Yes. And I now believe that Jesus is Lord and no one else. He has the only power on earth that no other power can overcome. His power is the ultimate power. Whoever says Jesus Christ has no power, is dead while still living. Whoever says Jesus Christ is not alive, is an empty shell of a snail. Jesus Christ is alive and is real. And hey, what happened, Baba? How come about your blind eyes? I'm all right as I am. Whoever sees Jesus Christ on the cross has seen the greatest thing any human being can see in life. If such person is blind afterwards, he has seen what many others have not seen. My blind eyes cannot be compared with the numerous evil I have done to the people of this village. But I'm so grateful to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hmm. I saw him nailed to the cross alive. He suffered for me. He suffered for me. Baba. <laughs> so you have now accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Ha. What type of question are you asking me again? <laughs> what power has the cockroach in the presence of a fowl? 
and what can solid palm oil do in the presence of fire? When all the powers I had acquired in life stood in the presence of the power of Jesus. Mm. So the power I thought I, I had melted. Jesus Christ, whom the witches meet, and they crushed away in fear. Jesus, whom the Emir meets, and they dashed away terrified. What power in the whole world can stand in the power of this Jesus? None. Olaboye. None. I have seen this Jesus, and he has saved me. And I have believed in. Baba, is this true? Ah, Ola told me. Listen, it is true that you and your husband have accepted this Jesus. You have believed in him. But I want you to know that I come to know this Jesus in a hard way. I saw him with my eyes. I saw him so far for me on the cross. Mm -hmm. And he said to me that he died for me, he shed his blood on the cross of Calvary, and he said he shed his blood for the remission of my sin. Hmm. Baba, can we then pray together? What else do you think I have come here for? I come also that you can pray for me and show me the next steps to take. Yes. It is true, I am now blind. But as long as I am alive, I will do what lies in my power to show the glory of that Jesus to the whole world. Allah for ye. Allah to me. Come and pray for me. Baba, um, can you go on your knees while we pray together? Ah, sure. And say this was after me. Thank you, sir. Ah. My dear, let's pray with Baba. Let's see this was happening the back. Uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ. The Son of God. The Son of God. I thank you. I thank you. For your love. For your love. I thank you. I thank you. For you died for my sins. Uh, for you died for my sins. I give my life to you today. Ah. Uh, I give my life to you today. I surrender my all unto you. Everything. I surrender my all to you. From today. From today, from take my life, Lord. Take my life, Lord, and use it for your glory. And use it for your glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for writing my name. For writing my name in your book of life. In your book of life. In Jesus' name, I pray. In Amen. Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Hey, Amen. Ah, Congrats. I don't know that you are mighty. Sit down, Baba. Sit down. I don't know. Jesus. Jesus, you are wonderful. Jesus. There is no power. You will not go. I don't know. Eh? What is this? What's that? Eh? What's wrong? What's wrong? Anything. I can see. Eh? Ah, ah, Baba. 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 Mm -hmm. I can see. Ah. Jesus. Baba. Hey, guess who? Ah. Baba. I see. Can you see me, Baba? Hola, boy. Ah. Jesus. Hey. 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 And after you have finished the prayer, it just seems as if something like a veil rolled off my hand. Hallelujah! Ah, Jesus! What? Eh? Jesus! I can see Jesus Christ. Hey! Stand there! For this that Jesus has done, the whole world will know that he heals, he forgives, yes. and he saves. Oh, yeah. I will tell the whole world yes. that he saved me. Amen. He forgives me all my evil deeds, Amen. and he healed my blind eyes. Amen. Oh, this Jesus.
Jesus Christ? This Jesus Christ. Why should this Jesus love me so much? Why should he love me so much like this? But I ought to have been stoned to death for all my wickedness in this village to the people of Mualeru. And my dead body ought to have been dumped on a dung hill for the vultures to feed on. I was bad, wicked, and heartless. But this Jesus Christ saved me, forgave me, and healed me of my blind eye. And for this free salvation, for the free forgiveness, and for the healing which I got from this Jesus, how we pay the devil back in his kingdom and cause problem for him. Amen. Amen. The devil has used me for so long. He has used me for so long. But this Jesus will now use me against him for the rest part of my life. Amen. Allah told me. Please, whatever you know that I need to understand, please teach me. Baba Ah. Ah. But Abike said you are uh, you are already blind. Yes. She said you are uh, you cannot see again. Uh, ah. She told me she even told me she brought you here. Uh, How come you can now see? Uh, Abike was right. She's a good girl. Uh, it is true I was blind. Uh, but now I can see. Uh, yes. Jesus has done it. Uh, uh, Jesus. Yes. yes Jesus. Jesus. Uh, Jesus. Uh, Hey, we go to that. Where that do you go? Is the, go to the other side. The other side. Yes. Okay. Jesus. Okay. For this that Jesus ah. has done. Jesus. Okay. The whole world we know. Jesus. Ah. Jesus. Okay. Come ah. inside, brother. Ah. Ah. I Jesus. know. Ah. I know you will be surprised. Ah. Who is who? What is that? I know you will be surprised. <laughs> I have changed. I know you will be surprised that I have changed. Ah. You have not known that I have given my life to Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Yes. Jesus has come. Uh, I have tested the two powers and I have now seen that the power of Jesus Christ is incomparable and indomitable. It is the ultimate power. Yes. Once I was blind. But now I can see. Yes. yes. That's it because the whole world will know who this Jesus Christ is. Jesus. As long as I am alive, I will use my life Amen. to show the glory and the might of this Amen. Jesus Christ. And I will reveal all the secrets of the devil. Amen. The various ways the devil has used me ah. to cover the eyes of people in this village. Ah. I will reveal the secret ah. of the powers of darkness. Ah. The ones that I know. Ah. Say so you don't know Glory ah. 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 You don't know Kotwana. You, you can't know. Ah. You can't know. Ah. Ah. I will reveal all their secrets. Ah. Once I was blind. <laughs> but now I can see. Yeah. I will reveal the devil's secret. So the Lord has taken full control of that village. Yes, yes, oh, oh, to God be the glory. And in fact, Baba has become a new person entirely. Mm. He has cleared all his house of all his former charms, amulets, oh, and concussions. Oh, he carried them all to a river. Mm. and threw them there oh, and he confessed that as, there is no power in them at all mm. that's good <laughs> pastor mm. the village is undergoing a drastic change now mm -hmm. things are taking a new turn in time oh, no, even the villagers they were surprised at mm. what happened to Baba Ishawu mm. they were all this oh, very glad it's just the, the work of God I'm so glad. It's a great thing happened over there. Ah. And so it was Baba himself who made the suggestion that we should come and hold a crusade in Mualem. That's great. And he recommended a seven-day crusade ah. to give him enough time to testify to the goodness of God. Yes. And to be able to expose all the secrets of the past of darkness operating in Mualem. Oh, that's Then he said after that, he would then be going to neighboring villages. Hmm. Holy crusade to give you testimony. Mm. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And we, in fact, this is the right time to move into that village. Amen. You know, we're going to hold a seven-day powerful evangelical crusade. 
in which I believe souls will be saved. Mm -hmm. And after that crusade, we are going to plant a strong evangelical church Amen. in that village. Amen. Ah, miracle yeah. we have for you. And the whole village will be, will be shaped for Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Ah. Then, sir, we also want you to come to Mumale before the crusade exactly. to come and baptize Baba. Mm. Ah, <laughs> that would be great. Yeah. Uh, when do you want the baptism to take place? We should um, we should not waste time. We should, it will happen very soon. Yes, sir. Like tomorrow, you'll be going back to the village. Yes. Mm. I, I want us to go together so that we'll do the baptism together. Yes. I, I think it is better than we. Yes, yes. yes. Let's, let's do it tomorrow. Okay. Let's do it tomorrow. All right. Ah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Pastor. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Here is Mualeru. Here is the village. We are many have been held captive mm. Mm. for years. But we thank God. There is deliverance now. Mm. Yes. yes. Ah, Pastor, what a pity. If I had known that there is such a great peace and joy in this Jesus, I would have looked for him long before now. <laughs> but I thank God. This Jesus is sweet. It is good to be in him. It is sweet to be in Jesus. Ah, oh, we thank God. Let's go. Um, I think um, it is good that we have the baptism in the river before the sun goes straight into the sky. Um, which river can we use for the baptism? Ah, there is um, Agbodo Alugi and there is of course, Aho Yaya. Hmm. When, which of the two rivers is uh, nearer to us now? Agbodo Alugi River is nearer to this place. Hmm. But the local beans women, Awoniru, will have taken over the lower part of the river. Hmm. Hmm. While the washer women, Awalagbafo, will have occupied the upper part. We cannot go to Agbodo Alugi River now. Mm. Mm. Uh, then let's go to the other river. Ah. You mean Ahoyaya? Mm. Ah, no. We cannot go to Ahoyaya. Ah. No one, no, no, no one bath there. Mm -hmm. No one fishes there. Mm -hmm. The river is a dangerous river. It is... Mm? Wait. No. We will go to that river. It is that river we will go. Let's go to that river. And then I don't think we have any problem with it. When we get there, we pray over the over the river. Then we sanctify it. Yes. 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 I, you are right, Olatomi. Let's go to Awoyaya. And it is that river we will go. We will go to that river. In fact, there is a friend of mine, an old friend of mine, living in that river. I want to see him. I want to talk to him. I want to tell him that there is now a greater power living in me. Amen. Yeah. Let us go.
Good afternoon, ma. Maracola. Welcome. I didn't know you were around. I'm inside. How was your journey? No bad, ma. How is your wife? She's fine, ma. Ah, we thank God. <laughs> you are nice surprise for us. <laughs> you are welcome. Thanks, ma. Maracola, how is Abuja? Is your work going on fine? Sir? I said there is your work going on fine in Abuja. I'm, I'm no more in Abuja, sir. Uh -huh. uh, I've left the place. So have you been transferred back to Lagos? I've left the company I was working with. Uh -huh. So that means you've got a better employment in another company, Abi? Oracola, what is wrong? I think I was right that uh, something is wrong. There's no joy in your eyes at all. Besides, you have gone so lean. You are different from the young man I used to know before you traveled to Abuja. But I call her. Tell me, what is wrong? Thank you very much, sir. I will not hide anything from you, sir. See, I've come to you for help. And I've come to you as father. And I will not hide anything from you and mommy. I suppose you are well familiar with the story of the prodigal son in the Bible. Yes, yes. Go on. Yes. My case is similar to the story of the prodigal son. I went to Abuja in pursuit of money, promotion, the glory and honor of the world. But I have now come back frustrated, disappointed, disgraced, and wretched. How? Look at this. This is the only thing I could bring back home from my one year stay in Abuja. I stayed for a whole year in that city. I could bring back home no glory, honor, or wealth, but this small traveling bag containing few clothes. But why? Where are all your loads? Mommy, did the prodigal son come back home the way he went away from his father? I've sold all my properties to settle the huge debt I hope. Uh -uh. How did it happen? Hmm. What went wrong? How, how did it all happen in Abuja? Why did you sell all your properties, Bracola? Why? Pastor, I suffered in Abuja and I came back home with shame and disgrace. Oh, how for God's sake? Mommy, I will explain. When I got to Abuja, I was made the branch manager of that company. Mm. I was given a very beautiful and a large house to live in. I had an house help, a driver, a gardener, and even a gate man. Mm -hmm. Pastor. I was really in honor. Mm -hmm. I was in this honor honorable position for about 10 months. Mm -hmm. Pastor, I lived flamboyantly. I eat whatever I like. I had two cars. Mm -hmm. Pastor, 
Could you really believe that I had once ride in a Mercedes-Benz car? I had a Mercedes-Benz car of mine. But what really happened? Where is it? Mommy, I sold it. I sold it. When things went bad for me. But brother Kola, why? What happened? Pastor, the devil really dealt with me beyond my expectations. He took back all he gave to me. Horrible sins and temptations surrounded me in Abuja. They pressed me to the wall until the fear of God began to vanish from my heart. I took bribes several times until my heart could no longer react against the sins. Many people brought bribes to me both in my office and at home. Oh. Pastor, do you know that during this time I was seriously duped? A man came to me and said he would give me a piece of land that belongs to him in Ikeja here. If I could recommend him to our chairman for a particular contract in our company. We made the deal together mm. and I recommended him to our chairman and the chairman gave me the permission and I awarded the multimillion Naira contract to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Pastor, in fulfillment of his promise, he gave me the piece of land and handed over to me all the particulars of the landed property. I borrowed 950,000 Naira in the bank to start building my personal beautiful bungalow. Hmm. Pastor, I never knew I was dealing with a wanted criminal. Hmm. Huh? He was an unscrupulous fellow, a police wanted crew. I never knew that the piece of land he gave to me belonged to a bank in Lagos here. Ah. The bank charged me to court and claimed their land back. They then cleared off my uncompleted building with bulldozer. Mm -hmm. The building on which I have spent nothing less than 1.3 million naira was raised the ground. Mm. This is terrible. Brother Kola, wait a minute. Was it not one gigantic building that was being built at Carnation Avenue some time ago? Mm. One big bungalow. Yes, mommy. Beside the travel agency. Mm. So, Brother Kola, you are the one that owned that building. Mm. You see, when the bulldozer was uh, raising down the building, some people said it belonged to an ambassador that he wanted to build another house on that land. Mm -hmm. Pastor, that's a lie. The land was not owned by any ambassador. The land belongs to the bank, and the building belonged to me. One only do me. 
in order to win a contract from a company so that he could get some money from our company. Hmm. The man received a mobilization fee of 700,000 Naira to start the work. When next I heard of him, a lawyer told me that he sold another piece of land that belongs to someone else. Ah. And he had been sentenced to a seven year imprisonment with hard labor. So the man didn't refund the money to the company? Not at all, mommy. <laughs> I even put the company into a debt of more than 4.5 million naira. Okay. The chairman then gave an order that my appointment be terminated and all the company's account be frozen until a new branch manager reports to take my place. I sold all my personal belongings to settle the debts at home and to pay back the loan I took from the bank for my building project. Pastor, I also took a bribe of 200,000 Naira from one Chibala Tishi to help him get a contract from my company. He got the contract quite all right. A problem later rose up against him from our head office. And he came back to demand for the money he gave to me. I had to sell my fridge and all my electronic gadgets to have enough money to settle all this debt. Ha, Pastor, has at now no money, no home. I have nothing except this traveling bag containing few clothes. Oh. How about your wife? How about Sister Bosse? Where is she? Didn't you come back with her? You mean my wife, Bosse? <clears throat> Boakola, are you answering with a smile? Where is Sister Bosse? <laughs> That's the second part of my story, Mommy. Second part of your story? How? Hmm. Pastor, my own story in Abuja is the first part. The story of my wife is another story entirely. It is the second part of the whole story. Hmm. Bacola, did something happen to her too? Yes, Pastor. We both came back from Abuja. But she is presently in the hospital here in Lagos. Hospital? Rakola, what happened to her? Daddy, Mommy, Bosse too was not spared from heavy and painful lashes of the devil. The devil Death with her too. She is seriously sick now. She is under torment of a mysterious sickness for the past two months. She has had two surgical operations and yet the doctors could not diagnose what is really wrong with her. I had to sell all our good clothes 
in Abuja to pay our hospital bills and to have enough money to charter a vehicle that conveyed her from the hospital in Guagualada, Abuja, down to Lagos here. I spent the remaining money on me to pay a deposit in a hospital in Yaba. Here. She's there now. So, Sister Bosse is sick. How did this start? What caused it? Well, maybe if I get something to eat, I may be able to tell our own story too. So, Bracola, you haven't eaten anything? No, sir. I bought some biscuits at Osho the Motor Park, and that was all I took since morning. Dear, what can Bodakola have to eat at home? I have told her to prepare something for him to eat. That's the food is almost ready. Mom, food is ready. Bodakola, your food is ready. Go to the table. Thank you very much, ma'am. She's been having her dogs regularly. Why then is she not improving? Doctor, to be sincere, I can't understand this case again. For the past four days, she has been on the bed. She just lying on her back with her eyes open, without even blinking. I can't understand this case, Doctor. But uh, where is her husband? He said he wanted to see his pastor at Ketu. 
when perhaps when the husband comes back, I would like to discuss with him. If uh, his wife's situation remains the same by tomorrow morning, maybe we have to take her to another place that he wants. Because I believe we have tried all the possible best we could do for her. At least after the surgical operation performed on her, at least we've done our best. Well, sister, tell the husband to see me when he comes back. Okay, sir. Tell her that she will not join any court. I told her to go and phone her and tell her that the Lord will fight for us. She then stood up and went upstairs. Later, I went upstairs to go and meet her. When I got there, I met her standing transfixed on a spot, looking straight at nothing. Why? What happened to her? She said she came to the city room and met Paulina on the seat. What? That means the woman has had all your discussions. Well, that is too strange. Ayama Tanga. Who thought of a strange name is that? She said that Paulina told her that the strange mark on her forehead is a remote control. And so with that mark, she can trace wherever she is and whatever she's saying at that time. And that because Bosse has betrayed the covenant she made with their court, she must be ready to suffer for it. She said, moreover, that Bosse will never be delivered from their torment and punishment unless the mark is removed from her forehead. And truly, the next morning, she was she she collapsed in the office, and she was rushed to the hospital. And that was how the strange sickness started. What do you call Did the doctors in Abuja mention the nature of the sickness to you? Yes. They said the strange disease is in her left side. And they performed surgical operation on her, but couldn't find anything on that spot. And yet, extra photographs showed that there is a strange object there. The devil is a liar. The Lord will surely give us victory. Amen. The power of the Lord shall prevail. Amen. And don't worry, God, I call it. The Lord will surely fight for us. Oyakola? Yes, Pastor. I want to ask you some questions. When all these things started to happen to you, you know, and things started going wrong, and horrible things started to happen, did it ever cross your mind at any time that you have done some things wrong and that you needed the mercy of God and forgiveness for those things which you've done wrong? Pastor, I understand your questions. I even understand the question deeper than you think, sir. Mm 
Pastor, my steps were all wrong from the start. The promotion I, I got to the post of Abuja branch manager, my acceptance of the offer of promotion, and my going to Abuja were all traps of the devil to distract me from doing what God wanted me to do. But Bosse, my wife, was a terrible instrument in devil's hand to confuse me and distract me the more. But thank God, we are now wiser. The devil can never deceive us again. Our prayer is that the Lord should be merciful unto us and rescue us from this dungeon of problem first. Once we are delivered from these problems, we will never be disobedient to God again. Whatever He tells us to do, we shall do. And wherever He asks us to go, we shall go. Pastor, I'm not sure that the Lord did not want me to go to Abuja. But to go and work for Him as a missionary evangelist mm. in that remote village, there were undisputable confirmations to that effect. I dreamt about it. I saw it in a vision. I read it in the Bible. The evangelist who came from Kaduna to conduct a revival in a church spoke it out through a word of knowledge. Even Brad Ajayi in our office confirms it. Pastor, didn't you come to me to tell me that the Lord showed you this thing in a vision. And finally, Pastor, in Abuja, a man of God came to me to give me the final warning that if I refuse to do the work of God, the Lord will bypass me and raise up someone else to do the work. And he, the Lord, will love when a calamity comes. But when Bosse, my wife, heard what the man of God in Abuja said and saw my readiness to repent, she became terribly furious at me. And she said, if I had decided to go to that remote village, I could go, but she would stay behind. When I heard this and saw the way she behaved negatively, well, I decided to stop warning myself about the village matter. I, I promised her that I would never talk about that village again. And that was all, Pastor. And since then, Pastor, it was just as if there is a mighty tall wall standing between me and the Lord. I have not been able to hear from him again. No signal, no instruction from him. And the atmosphere around me became so tense wherever I am and wherever I go. And since then, the wind has been blowing contrary to our sail. Things have been going worse for us. Pastor, ah, the Holy Spirit really tried. He tried on me, but it was I. It was so 
obstinate and disobedient. It was I who discarded his voice and dishonor his call. Brother Kola, don't cry. What do you want to do now? What are your plans? <laughs> well, if the Lord should rescue me from this dungeon and heal Bosset too, wherever he sends us, we shall go. And whatever he sends us to do, we shall do. Even if the Lord is sending me to a remote desert to be living, I'm ready. Brother Kola, will your wife allow you to obey the Lord again? Ah, Pastor, I will never make that mistake again. That was the mistake I made. The Lord gave me vision to go to that village to serve him. It was my responsibility to take step and obey the Lord. And it was the duty of my wife, Jose, to follow me and give me a full backing. The first mistake I made was that I did not take the step of obeying the Lord. I placed the law for my wife above the law for God. I placed my wife first and put the Lord in the last place. That mistake I made was an open door for the devil to come in and punish us. <laughs> ah, no. Not again. I'm not wiser. I even trust my wife, Jose. She too is not wiser. First of all, she will never join in league with the devil to frustrate the plan of God again. For five whole days, she was crying regretfully in Abuja. Both of us have passed through the fire of sad experience. I just pray that the Lord will heal her. Brother Kola, how about that village? Do you still have it in mind to go? You mean Muwaleru? Yes. Ah, once the Lord raises up Pose from a sick bed, I am going straight to that village. Both of us shall go to Muwaleru, and I will search for that village and do whatever God wants me to do over there. Hmm. Brother Kola, someone else has gone to do the job. Eh? Pastor, what do you say? Come again. Brother Kola, someone else has gone to do the job. In fact, the gospel has been fully established in Mualeru village. In fact, we have just concluded a seven-day powerful crusade program in that village. A seven day crusade? Ah. So, Pastor, the village truly exists. Ah, God. Who went to that village? Who took the gospel to the village, Pastor? Well, I call a couple, a man and his wife. The Lord sent them to that village. A week after their wedding, and they never agreed with the Lord. The Lord showed the, the, the vision to the husband, and the wife never agreed with him. And they have been in the village doing the work of God. And at present, Brakola, they are still there doing the work of God. Pastor, what type of person is that man? Doesn't he have a job at hand? He's 
mengelabui. Ah! Olabui. Which Olabui, Pastor? Brother Olabui. The accountant. Your friend who works at the insurance company. Oh.
if after finding these new lines of uh, management and then uh, Mrs. Bimiro will get better. I will have to advise the husband to take her somewhere else. I really pity the woman. You don't have mercy. Well, I think we have tried our best. You think I'm not dead, boss? No, I'm not. Just wait and see. They are joking.
regular madness combined with destructive and suicidal spirit immediately I put it on your head you start immediately
Baba, oh. Good afternoon, Baba. Baba, why is Shaoumi? Good afternoon, oh. From where? Uh -uh. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Baba. We've been sent to you by our father. We come from Amororo. Sent to you by our father, Baba Dashofoye. Dashofoye? I don't remember knowing anyone in Amororo called Dashofoye. But he knows you very well. Even we two know you. Eh, Abi? A, a lot of people may know the village stream, eh, but how many people can the village stream know? Eh, come inside. Come inside. That's all for you. Come inside. Come inside. That's all for you. But I don't remember knowing anybody in Amor who called them. That's all for you. Eh, come inside. I you you Abe Boramuti Yangang, the man who drinks corn beer with the demons of the forest. We are. <laughs> yes, we are. Firstly, listen very carefully. The three of you. I am no more called the Shawuru. My name has been changed to Evangelist Paul Eshubofo. The Ishabu who you once knew, who used to run evil errands for you, is dead and buried. And a new man has since been existing. The man you now see talking with you is no more Ishabu. He is Evangelist Paul Eshubofo. And I think you get my words very clearly. Hmm? Now, what can I do for you? Why have you come here? Why did you reveal our secrets to the presence of the whole villagers? You told them of how we gave you evil powers. You told them of how we stopped the rain from falling in Mumolewu. And how we are collecting the blood of the villagers in 61 giant pots. You even told them of how we gave you a padlock in which you locked the 21 villagers we asked you to kill for us. Ishawuru, that thing you have done has really annoyed us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are all fools. You this, you this, you this, I got stinking fish. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why you have come here early in the morning to disturb me from going to where I was going. Ishawuru, are you really aware of what you are saying? You are talking to us, Arometa, in this way. Are you sleeping? No, I am not. You are the one dozing. You are dozing and you are drunk. You are drunk with the wine of foolishness and ignorance. You are, you are ignorant and you are foolish. Uh, you don't know things have changed. <laughs> by the way, by the way, why are you shaking? Why are you, why, why are you so nervous? You are shaking restlessly like leaves on the water. Ah. Hey. Is it because of the seven day crusade I conducted for Muwaleru and its environ? Ah. Then listen very carefully. I am starting another crusade here in Muwaleru next week. And this time around, it is going to be for 14 days. The seven day crusade I conducted last was not enough for me. There are, the, 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 there are more things to say, more secrets to reveal. There are more secrets to reveal. All the hidden things of darkness, unknown to Muwaleru villagers, shall be revealed. I shall reveal the secrets of the enemy, familiar spirit. And I shall disclose everything I know about you, Arometa, and the evil deeds and the secrets of 
other witch doctors and herbalists. All the hidden things of the secret cult that I know of in Mumoneru, Amororo, Emukuru, Akowayo, and all the other villages around. And the power of the Lord shall deliver Mumoneru completely from your hand. We, Arumeta, shall stand in your way and prevent all these from happening. No one shall be able to take over the control of Mooneru from our hands. <laughs> the authority over Mooneru has been wrest away from your hands since the day I was delivered from the powers of darkness and transformed into the marvelous light of the Son of God. That day, the control over Mooneru left your hand. In the last seven day crusade I had, Many people who, who you have put in bondage were delivered from your powers. Peace has returned to Mumoleru. People no more die every day. The control over Mumoleru has left your hand. Ishauru, what is wrong with you? Do you want us to fight with you? Ah, you? You will fight with me? <laughs> <laughs> if you associate yourself together against me, you shall be broken into pieces. And if I stand up against you, the Lord has now made me a new sharp threshing instrument, haven't it? I shall thresh you as, as chaff. I shall find you and the wind shall carry you away and the wild wind shall scatter you. So therefore, if you confront me, you will fall. If I confront you in battle, you will fall. Therefore, pick one out of the two options. Ah. Now, get yourself out of my house. Go out of my house. But, by the way, Saul, what type of power do you now have? that make you speak arrogantly to us like this. The power in me now is greater than all the powers of the whole world. And with that power, I am able to speak before you like this. You know it yourself, that an ordinary person cannot stand before you and be speaking like this with such an audacity. The power in me now is greater than all the powers of the whole world. And with that power in me, I have the boldness to speak before you like this. You know it yourself, that an ordinary man cannot stand before you and speak with such an audacity. The power in me now is greater than all the power you think you have. The power in me is the ultimate power. Now, enough of useless conversations get out of my house get out of my house in the name of jesus christ get out of my house <laughs>
gbedun gbedun la nlu lu agbedun kiji kiji la nlu lu akiji the sacred drum of the witches is beaten with a sacred drum stick so that all the sacred were witch birds can hear the sacred sound and gather in a sacred place the crowd made its palm oil in its own hole but found no one to use it the crab's oil is useless and the crab's effort is made in vain when the cobweb stands in the way of a bunch of brooms it gets crushed and the snail that dips its mouth in a bowl of salt will build the whole world goodbye when oriamo the she butter which turns the hot baking sun it melts away we are meta abe igbagun gbagun ekududu aboju rai rai we have come against you let your dwelling place be crushed as cobweb is crushed by the bunch of broom when the house of thinking is that stain in the rain it collapses when we call you now in the land of the living you must wake up into the world of the dead In Jesus name Strange evil power was that that despised us. Oguna is their car. I don't know it all. At our relay in Juoka, do you know about that type of strange evil power? Ah, no. How good, good. Oguna is their car. I have never come across that type of power. Let the river turn back and flow upwards. Let the dew that has fallen upon the ground turn back to where it has come from and what the surface of the sky. Let us stretch forth our hands back to Shawuru's house. For there is no way upon the surface of the earth where our hands cannot reach. Yes, the river shall turn back and flow upwards to the top of the mountains. And the dew of heaven that has fallen on the green grass shall go back to where it has come from and wet the surface of the sky. Yes, when the water is thrown so high against the wall, it splashes back at the one who throws it. Let our hands be stretched from here back to Sauru in his bedroom. Yes, Gwedu Gwedu la lulu a Gwedu Kiji Kiji la lulu a Kiji. The sacred drum of the witches is beaten with a sacred drumstick so that all the sacred witch birds can hear the sacred sound and gather in a sacred meeting place. The crab made its palm oil in its own and found no one to use it. The crab's oil is made useless and the crab's effort is made in vain. When the cobweb stands against a bunch of brooms gets crushed and the snail that sticks its mouth in a bowl of salt will bid the whole world goodbye when oriamo the she butter 
withstand the hot baking sun. It melts away. We are Rometa. Abeni bagu bagu. Ekududu. Abodu rai rai. We have come against you. Let your dwelling place be crushed as a cobweb is crushed by a bunch of blue. When the house of singing insects stays in the rain, it collapses. When we call you now, in the land of the living, you must wake up in the land of the dead. Isha Wuru! Isha Wuru! Isha Wuru! In in Jesus name. Shout Ayamatanga. Once she shouts that name, she would instantly begin to uh, to misbehave. Well, Akola, <laughs> I want to discuss some things with you. Let us go to the tower. All right, sir. Let us go. When we were praying the other time, the Holy Spirit uh, brought it into my heart that you need to ask for forgiveness of your sins with absolute repentance from inside your heart. Pastor, I'm aware of this. Just help me. Please, intercede on our behalf that the Lord be merciful unto us. Keep on praying for us that the Lord should heal us. Once we are rescued from this dungeon of problems, we will never again struggle with the Holy Spirit. We shall henceforth obey Him. Keep on praying for us. Ah! What's that again? What happened? Ah, there? What has happened again? Bracola, no, don't get closer. No, Bracola, don't move closer. She seems to be different from the staff that we need to know. Something strange is happening. Don't move closer to her at all. 
Tuh mutu tak buat aku. Tak buat tunggu. Tunggu. Tunggu mutu tak buat aku. Who released the ark? Who untied the, the, the ropes? Who bent the, the hands and the legs? Pastor, my dear Paulina has just entered into this room. Pastor! Pastor, that was not 
possessed. No, that was not possessed, my wife. She how she lifted me up with one hand. Oh. Oh. Daddy, why are those people happy? It was Mr. Bosse. He sounded like six hefty men laughing together at once. Oh, God. What are we going to do now? Nothing else. Let us just believe that the Lord will fight for us. I believe that with God, all things are possible. The Lord will surely fight for us. Staring at us squarely. Who knows that the first time? And who tied her again the second time? And who are those people laughing inside? Strange things, strange things are happening in this room. This is very, very serious. Strange things are happening. Ah, it's all strange. Ah. Ah. Pastor. Let's watch the Pastor. We are watching. Let's watch the eyes. Ah, help me. Help me. My eyes. My eyes. Wash your eyes. I can't open them. I can't open them. You can't open the eyes, mommy. But who threw the water? Who threw the water? We cannot say, Sister Bosse. Yeah, yeah. Because we yeah. saw Sister yeah. Bosse lying on the bed yeah. with her legs and hands yeah. tied to the bed stand. Yeah. 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 Who threw the water? Did uh -huh. you see the person? Ah, uh -huh. ah. Uh -huh. I didn't see anybody. Oh. I can't see anybody. Oh. All I knew was that someone threw the water at my face. Ah, I couldn't see the face. Ah, I can't open the ah, The eyes is paining me, Pastor. <laughs> open the eyes. You open it gradually. It's paining me. <laughs> Where is the water? Where is the water? Wash your face. You don't open your eyes. 
I don't want me to be that rich and well wealthy. I'm talking out of my mouth. We were both time friends. Everybody knew us together. I even took her to, to my palace. We took all these thousands of naira and, and promises I made, I made to her. her. Yet she, she betrayed me. I insist that Bosse is a child of God, bought, washed, and redeemed with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Agent. <laughs> In how many countries have you worked so far? Mm -hmm. So many, so many, so many. But I worked last in uh, Guatemala before coming to Nigeria. In Guatemala, I was a matron in an hospital, and I took up a name, uh, calling me Filiano. Filiano. See, see, Filiano. But when I came to Nigeria, I took up another name and they were calling me Paulina. But what is your real name? I am. I am. I am. I am. I command you, you spirit of Ayamatanga, 
Go out of water now and go into the sea in the name of Jesus Christ. Was covered with blood. Eh? I spoke to her. She couldn't respond. Ah. She, our, our body was motionless. Ah. Yeah. I don't know what has happened to her. I don't understand all this. Oh I don't understand all this. Ah. Could it be that Bosse, Bosse has died? Ah, no. God, you are merciful. Have mercy on us. Uh, impossible. Bosse must not die. Uh, Lord, Jesus, uh, you are merciful. Ha! Rhoda, I, I want, want you to mourn your, your husband. If, if, if you try, try to force him out, out of this place, I will, I will go. go. But, but that, that will be the end of Bosse. Before I, I go out of her, I kill her out first. Daddy, Daddy, come over here. Come on, Mr. Pastor. That, that was an example of what, 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 what I can do with Bosse. Don't, don't try to force me out, out of this place. place. Right? right? But you have to go. You have to get out of her. Do, do, do you, you understand what I'm telling you? Do you understand at all? I didn't do anything and I have been a husband and get better. Don't you need the mouth of your husband and your husband? Don't you need the mouth of your husband and your husband? Don't you need the mouth of your husband? No, but... but Speaking to us, it was that evil spirit 
that was speaking to us throughout. And you, Brother Kola, you cannot see. Oh God, have mercy on us. All these things happening. Daddy, can't we call Bosse and say? Perhaps she will respond. I have tried it myself. It's that same good spirit that is speaking to her. Then I will suggest that we leave her alone and take this matter to the Lord in prayer. Maybe there are some steps that we need to take that we've not taken. Or maybe there are some things that we need to know that we've not known. Let's take it to the Lord in prayer. Let's ask the Holy Spirit. Yes, you are right. I agree with you. It is true. It is not wise for us to engage in any conversation with that evil spirit. But why did we command the spirit to go and did not go? We have to go and pray. Seek the peace of the Lord for Sunday. We have to go and pray. I know for sure, the Holy Spirit knows something about it. Sure. And He will not leave us alone to face it. Yes. He will surely show us the way out. Yes. He will lead us out of this situation. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Holy Spirit, what is happening? You have to teach me. You have to show me what all this means. I don't seem to understand this situation. Holy Spirit, teach me your way. I don't seem to understand this situation at all. What is it? What step do you want me to take concerning this matter? Brother Connor has done well. Sister Bosse, an evil spirit is speaking to her. It's not normal again. Holy Spirit, you understand all this happens. Tell me what you do about this situation. What is it that I don't understand about this situation? That I don't understand. Holy Spirit, speak to me. Speak to me. What is it that I don't understand that you want me to understand? Speak to me. Yo, how left, left what you what ought to do on do on dawn. 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 Holy Spirit, what is it that I ought to have done? That I've left undone? Holy Spirit, show me. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 6. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Yes. When, when you are alive, alive, alive and told you of your problems, problems, did you did come, come me, to me to find out the steps to take, to take on, on the matter? matter? Holy Spirit. Ah, I'm sorry. Holy Spirit. I'm very sorry. Because you set me aside without asking from me the step to take. That was why I kept quiet about the matter and did not show you what to do. Ah, ah, Holy Spirit, 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. When it is time you want me to show you what to do about the matter, call on me. I will answer you. Ah, ah. Holy Spirit, now is the time. Now is the time for you to teach me what to do. But the color has gone blind. And Sister Paul says she's not normal. The animal spirit is speaking to her. And both of them are in my house. Holy Spirit, don't leave me alone in this problem. I know I've, I've committed a sin by neglecting you. But Holy Spirit, you have to forgive me. Teach me what to do. Please, Holy Spirit. is ready, come and eat. If not this is this morning, we are come and eat. Yeah. After the color eating, you two have got it this is good. Has he taken anything yet? Has not eaten. He only took a cup of tea. I had to pet him before he even take that cup of tea. He was just sitting down without sleeping or even lying down. <laughs> 